have a dry spell Jimmy Rogers, big roller a pine Mama's dancing, baby on her shoulders The sun is setting like molasses in the sky Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here, Super Easy Guitar. This week we're doing Black Velvet by Alana Miles. Uh, this was requested by one of you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget, if you want to send me a request, you can find me on Instagram or Facebook. I'll do my very best to reply. I just want to say thank you so much for all your support, guys. And, uh, you know, keep the requests come in. I can't fulfill them all. I really wish I could. But anyway, let's zoom in and get straight into it. All right, so I've kept the guitar in standard tuning. If you want to play with the original track, you're gonna to have to tune down your guitar to E flat, okay? That's how, it's, uh, that's how it's played originally. So I've left it in standard just to make it easy for you guys. So it starts off with this like cool little blues intro thing. <laughs> Okay, now I'm not going to go through all the specific licks, but what I will say is they're all based around the E minor pentatonic, so I'll kind of show you roughly where they are and how they work, okay? What the guitar player is using is this slide-in scale. Okay. Yeah, all these kind of little shapes, right? E minor, you can open position here. Sorry. So that's the first one. Okay, and then the second one, starting on the bottom E, O, three, five, slide to seven, next string, five, seven, next string, five, seven, slide to nine, next string, seven, nine, next string, eight, ten, slide to twelve, Next string, uh, not a 10, 12, okay? O, three, five, seven, next string, five, seven, next string, five, seven, nine, next string, seven, nine, next string, eight, 10, slide to 12, next string, 10, 12. Learn that position. Then you can play it up here, 15, 12, 15, 12 on the B string, uh, 14, 12 on the G, 14, 12 on the D, 14, 12 on the A, and you could do 15, 12 on the bottom E if you can reach, if you have a cutaway. Did I say 14 or 15 on the top E? It's 15, 12, 15, 12 and 14, 14, 14, 15. Hopefully that makes sense, guys. If you're still not sure, check out my five positions of the pentatonic, and you can, it's just position one, okay? So to start off, we want this. So that's the first thing, right? I'm starting off with my second finger in the second fret on the G string, which is the third string, and I'm sliding to the fourth, okay? Then I'm plucking the top E and then the B, so it's number one and two. And then what I'm doing, I'm putting my first finger on the B string in the third fret. I'm plucking B, G, and as I pluck the G, the third string, I'm sliding down to the second. Okay, so super slow. pulling off there to play an open G and I'm going straight into an E power chord 
So I've just got my first finger covering the A and the D string in the second fret and I'm playing the bottom three strings palm muted. Okay? You don't want them ringing out, you want them muted. Okay? So... Really slow. So that's the first little lick. So it's kind of like a D shape, except what I was doing on the, the intro, I was using my first and second finger. On the G string and the B, on the second and third fret, I'm plucking just those two strings, sliding up until my first finger's in the fourth fret, my second finger's in the fifth, and plucking again, okay? And then straight into one, two, three, four. So the little bass line riff goes. I'm playing it all palm muted to try and give it that kind of bass sound. And what I'm doing, I'm just using my first finger to cover the D and the A string, which is the fourth and the fifth. Then I'm playing an open A, okay? So it's five, five, open. Then I do the same thing on the fourth fret. Four, four, open. Then I do five on the A string, seven on the E, and then five back on the A. So super slow. And you're back into that riff. And again. On the acoustic guitar version, the, the guitarist does it like this. He goes third finger. Five five oh four four oh. Then does an open D two. Open D again. But I quite like that because you can put a little kind of bend on it. It sounds a bit thicker as well. So that's the little bass lick. So the licks individually before the vocal comes in. Obviously we've got that intro. Then we've got that bass line. Then I think he's got a bit of a, something like that. That's gonna be fifth fret on the bottom E string. Bit of a bend. And then five, seven on the A string. When you see the acoustic version, he does all, you know, every lick's a little bit different, so it doesn't necessarily relate to the original track. But they're all played in the pentatonic, right? That's why it's super important to learn that pentatonic. So then the next lick, um, it's something like that, okay? Um, and all I'm doing there, I'm playing on the D string, seven to eight. That's just a slide, slide up, and then back down. Pull off to five. I'm still on the D string. Okay. Finishes on seven. So seven, slide to eight, back to seven. Pull off to five, play seven, and five, seven on the A string. Okay. So then, again, we got that little bass lick. So then we got the little bass lick. Then she comes in with a vocal, right? Right, so then it's that bass lick again. And 
Mississippi, and in between, there's all these little licks. Now, when I'm singing it and playing it, as you saw at the beginning, So I'm just filling in the gaps with anything that works on the pentatonic. So if you've got some licks, that's, that's all I'm doing and that's all the guitarist is doing uh, on the acoustic version as well. So the next little lick I hear is like the one at the beginning, which is, was the D shape, but he plays it in reverse. And of, of course that classic, So that's what the bass line's doing, and if you don't know that. Five, oh, three, oh, on the bottom E string. So off the first chorus, there's another little lick. And that is um, five on the G, sorry, seven on the G, seven on the D. Five on the A, seven on the A. Okay, it's kind of fiddly because it's got to be quick. So primarily I was using my third finger to cover the two middle strings. And just to get a bit more bend on that next, the second note, so the, the seven on the D. I'm using the second finger, okay? Next lick, he does this kind of... Again, it's classic blues. These are all classic blues riffs. Second fret on the G string, slide to the third fret on the G. Back to two, pull off to zero, then end two on the D string and then I end up that bottom E string again. So you kind of have to do it all at once. Okay. However you want to do it, whatever fingers. I guess it makes sense to use the first finger. You just gotta be quick with it, okay? Super slow. So, Mississippi, or oh Mississippi, middle of a dry spell. Jimmy Rogers, Victrola up high. You don't know what a Victrola is, it's like an old fashioned um, record player. That was just the, the make of it, I think. So, all I was doing, I was just. So just like that scale I showed you, I was picking out a few notes on it. In that case, it was five, okay, five to seven, then five, seven on the A string. Mama dancing, baby on her shoulders. Okay, and so then it goes into this kind of pre-chorus, which, you know, I don't know what the lyrics are, but... Um, kind of a tricky one it's like a b7 with a suspended fourth i guess and then um a7 with a sus4 um g sus4 to g and then d all right so if i play it through i'll play it without the susses right What's actually going on with the electric guitar in the, the original? So you could do it that way as well. I mean, the chords are exactly the same. So 
So that's just B, and I guess you'd have to play it with your thumb. So it's just like um, a B shape here, like, like kind of like a power chord. But because I want to get the suspended fourth with my pinky, I just want to avoid playing that A string so I can then have the root with my thumb. Same position, just starting on the fifth fret, so that becomes A. Same position on the third fret, so it becomes G. And then it goes back up to A. Then we're into the chorus, right? Black velvet. So you're, basically what you end up with is this Okay, and then and then D. Then you're into the chorus, A minor. But playing A minor with this pinky on on the G and then D. So we got black velvet in the smile. Okay, A minor. And then D, and I'm kind of leaving that pinky on as well for the suspended four. Then it goes to F, slow southern to C. New religion, bring you to your knees, and then we're sliding into this um, C7 down to B7. Finish off with, if you please, E minor. So that's a few different options for you. Now I kind of simplify it ju by just playing the A7 instead of getting that extra note in. Just that A7. So the picking, all I'm doing I'm just kind of strumming from the A, A, D, G, little strum. Sorry. So I'm not doing anything technical here, really. And then, you know, for the, the chorus, you can do it all in downstrokes. Ah, so there's that what that bass does as well, right? So we got this. That just comes before the new religion, right? So it connects the two together. So, um, third finger in the second fret on that A string, sliding up one fret to the third, going back down to the second with the second finger, hitting the G at the third fret on the bottom E, then open A to go into the next chord. So if I just do that little chorus, A minor, then D, A minor, F, C, slide into the C7, back to the B7. So the only other section of the chords is the break, which is A minor. Every word of every song, B7, he sang was for you, E minor. And then it goes A minor, in a flash he was gone. That's a F major 7, like an F, but with the top E open. And then C, it happened so soon. And then we got this. like a little run down to the B7 
and that's just second fret on the D, sorry, then open D, third fret on the A, second fret on the A, and then just continue it with a B7, okay? What could you do? And then E minor. So I'll show you a little bit of the solo. I'll show you that like lick he's doing at the beginning. Something like that, okay? I'm just improvising with that, guys, but it's in the right realm. Um, so I'm placing all three fingers on the B string from the ninth, uh, from the eighth to the tenth fret, okay? Eight, nine, and ten. And I'm doing a bend, bending a whole step, and then pulling off, bending up to twelve, back down to ten, pulling off to eight. And then finishing it with um, my second finger on the ninth fret on the G string. Then that's just uh, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, eight on the B string. Little bend on the ends, repeat. Okay, he does a, something a bit more technical than that. Whatever, okay, so it's just kind of sliding back down that scale. All right. All right, so the other section of the solo, he just goes a bit higher up to the 12th fret and plays with a pentatonic up there. So I'll show you that little lick. Um, again, it's not exactly what he's doing, but you'll figure it out, guys. I don't want to spend all this time on the solo, okay? So it's just bend on the 15th up to 17th, then kind of finish on the 12th on the top E. All right, and then he's doing like this, Okay, so then it's going to be 12 on the top E, 15 on the B, pull off to 12, then 14 on the G, back to 12 on the B, 12 on the G, Then I guess uh, 15, bend to 17 on the top E, and back to 15. Yeah, and I guess that is that same kind of thing. It's kind of the same as down there. So we got that's just 14 on the G. 14 on the D, and then 12 on the G. Okay, so that's pretty much what he's doing. Obviously, super simplified to what's going on. There's obviously there's more lick. He's doing all this kind of stuff. Okay, so. Just the more, the better you get at your pentatonics, the more you'll be able to pick out those little riffs. Okay, guys? I hope that helps. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button if you want my weekly updates. You can find me over on Instagram and Facebook. I'll do my very best to reply to you guys, and I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>